Olympics begin today in Tokyo with the opening ceremonies happening right now, actually, and we have a lot of local athletes competing. Including a visually impaired triathlete and his guide. Here's a look at their training before leaving for the Games. All right. You guys got a plan? Training for these two is all about communication like and it. trust. Kyle is, is a, a B1. He's completely blind. He lost his vision um, to, a, to a cancer when he was about seven years old, um, but you'd, you'd never know it. If you spend time around him, you'd, you'd never know it. Uh, one of the smartest, uh, most adaptable individuals I've ever had the pleasure to be around. Coach Derek Williamson says it's been inspiring to watch Kyle Kuhn and his guide Andy Potts work together. They teamed up about a year ago, and Derek says they have an unspoken bond that goes beyond the verbal cues. And it's a partnership Kyle feels lucky to have found right in time for his first Paralympics. It's been growing leaps and bounds in our communication, in our in our teamwork, and you know it's. I mean, this is a it's a, it's a true, you know, partnership. You know, it's it's a team sport, which is just so much, <laughs> so awesome. Together, they will swim, cycle, and run in Tokyo, bringing with them some Olympic experience. Andy is a former Olympic triathlete competing at the Athens Summer Games in 2004. This is my first shot at the Paralympic Games. Uh, it is a totally unique experience guiding Kyle. Kyle's a world-class athlete. I'm just there to kind of remove some of the barriers that are in front of him, be his eyes on race day, uh, hopefully be that voice in his head as well, try to give him the right cues so we can execute to the best of our ability. Kyle and Andy are eyeing a medal. They compete Saturday morning in Tokyo. We'll keep you posted on how they do. We also want to recognize two other Colorado Springs Paralympians we've done stories on in the past. These two ladies were given big honors at the Games. Rio silver medalist Sophia Herzog was named one of the swim team captains. And triathlete and veteran Melissa Stockwell will carry the American flag in the opening ceremonies, which is going on right now in Tokyo. This is Stockwell's third Paralympics. She won bronze in Rio. And this is really a full circle moment for Stockwell after she carried the flag during the Beijing closing ceremonies back in 2008. Big congratulations to them both and best of luck. GMC continues after this.